Hey guys, welcome to Frame Hero. So I'm going to do the um, general collective en energy for today, uh, May 29th, roundabouts, whenever you were guided to watch this reading. Um, I'm trying to get the monthlies put out. Um, I got Scorpios put out last night, and then I just, it just, that reading just totally drained me. Um, I'm pretty sure that I was picking up on um, the death of George Floyd. The Minneapolis man who was um, had his life taken by police officers um, um, in an inhumane way, uh, and it was just full of death. It was full of legalities. Someone, you know, hiding the truth. Um, for you, Scorpios out there, I am going to put out another monthly for you, um, just because that one was so. Um, Kind of dark um but i do believe that that's the energy that i was picking up on the world is in chaos right now guys the united states is in chaos um you know and with what was showing on the spread you know we had pathway and change um in that scorpio reading and um i think that i think that this 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 um unfortunate death of this man is going to lead to a change, a revolution, a new path. Um, I really do. Our, 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 our nation is in an uproar right now. Um, and I do believe that that change, I think that there will, I think that this unfortunate death is going to lead to this revolutionary change. Um, so aside from all that, I've been saging like crazy because I just kind of wanted to, um, I want a different, hopefully try to get, um, some different energy here, but, um, may his poor soul rest in peace. So I'm going to get one more, um, here and we'll get right into it oh i kind of wanted to well let's just get a first card i was gonna say i wanted to pull from the kipper deck um so here we got the six of pentacles this is a payout a pay um um well it could be payback energy if this is payout this is receiving something um this is have a need for balance as well um there may be, uh, this is all about like the equal take, the reciprocity of a situation. So maybe the balance um, is off in a situation or maybe there's needing to be balance. Let's see here, uh, eight of wands. So, you know, this is fast forward movement. This is communication back and forth. Um, um, but fast movement, this is um, events being set in motion that is beyond your control, um, but but communication. So there may be some sort of communication about money being paid out here. Um, maybe um, some communication going back and forth. Maybe somebody's um, communicating with uh, somebody else. Um, but maybe this is communication about receiving a payout. We've got the death card here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. This is all about transformation. Um, and also is, um, you know, the death of a... Um, person situation or an idea so I don't know uh, death just is showing up in my readings so maybe this is a payout um, communication about a payout due to a death you know like an inheritance or something yeah somebody's definitely mourning a loss of something here um, the six of pentacles can also be like a division of assets. Um, this with this eight of wands, somebody could literally be moving and putting an end to something, but this is mourning the loss of something. This is someone who's feeling regret or feeling remorse. Um, <sighs> yeah, we got seven of swords here. Um, cause someone was being sneaky, lying, cheating, whatever. Um, but this is deceptive energy. Someone may literally, um, 
Hmm. You know, this has been coming up in my readings lately too. Someone needs to be watching their money coming in or something. Um, Because this is like receiving something, receiving money here, and this is a thief. So, and this is fast movement. This is going to be somebody who's real slick and sly here, coming in fast. Um, or maybe you're communicating with this person. I don't know, but yeah, someone might even get caught. Got the seven going to the eight here. But this is someone who feels trapped. Um, feels like they're in a, uh, a, a self-imposed, you know, this is a being in a self-imposed prison of your own making in your mind, um, not seeing your way out of a situation. Someone, like like I was saying, could literally be going to jail. This is like the Justice card and the Minor Arcana and the Six of Pentacles. And this, whoever this liar, cheater, stealer, whatever um, bastard may be getting caught going to jail here. Yeah. Something about money and assets or something. Gosh, am I picking up on the same energy? Because yesterday, well, in the Scorpio reading, it was the four of pentacles with the ten of pentacles. Like somebody's trying to, and then all this hiding the truth and surrounding like a death. And uh, it's like somebody's trying to hide something to do with like a large amount of money, assets, something. I'm telling you guys. But this is an ending. Tens are completions. You know, um, this could be like the ending of a family dynamic, um, the death of a person in your family. But an ending with that death. Yeah, somebody's waiting on money or looking at the money. This is about money. Watch your money, guys. Um, Because this is like a division, like I was saying, a division of assets, a payout of money. <sighs> Maybe someone didn't receive what they were supposed to. There's some sort of, there's something sneaky going on here concerning money. Fool. Can we do with an Aries? Um, you know, this is all about taking a risk taking a leap of faith starting over starting brand new on a new path um you know this can also be f foolish impulsive behavior as well but starting new you know with death comes new beginnings so somebody may be starting out on their own here a new a new beginning waiting on money waiting on this um someone's felt trapped in the situation but somebody got caught doing something, communicating with somebody else or something. I don't know, but somebody's mourning a loss for sure. Waiting on money. There's communication, movement, some sort of movement, communication about money. Yeah, but somebody's going to be sitting pretty here um, with the Empress. This could be the, uh, the death of a family legacy, like I said, um, someone in the family. And the empress could be, you know, like a mother, a grandmother, um, any kind of a motherly figure. Um, and like I said, this could be like a division of assets here, waiting on this money and this inheritance. But there's definitely a grievance here over a loss. Yeah, we got the ten of wands on the bottom. So something's definitely heavy. This is another completion. Um, this is feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders needing to drop a burden, but something that's heavy. Um, it's another completion. There's the pre-Empress uh, Minor Arcana. 
So this could be this could be the same person here. Let's pull some clarifiers. This could change the whole reading, but oh. Ten of Pentacles just fell out right on top of this damn uh, Seven of Swords, guys. Somebody could be... Somebody needs to watch their money and their assets and property, whatever. You know, the Seven of Swords, he's playing in the plot and strategizing as well. He may think he's getting away with something, but with that Eight of Swords coming out right afterwards, um, nah, I don't think so. Something to do with stability, home, assets, something, something to do with your stability for a while. Somebody may literally be moving homes. But, like, this is, like, um, like I was saying, like a division of assets. This is an ending here. Someone's waiting on money, waiting on something. <laughs> okay, so now we got the Eight of Wands. So this is, like, no moving forward here. This is maybe, like, uh, no communication. <sighs> or this is just somebody who is, um, there's no... There's, there's no movement forward here. This is over. Someone's moving. Someone may hear communication of a death. Yeah. Someone's definitely mourning a loss here. Oh my gosh. The five of cuts, four of swords. Yeah. My condolences to any of you guys who have lost somebody. Um, or who will lose somebody. Because this is... Um, this is like communi hearing communication of this. And this is communication as well. And this is like a division of assets with this um, home and property and stability here. That's a little sneaky up to. Yeah. Someone's got their eye on the money. Um, this could be this empress here. I don't know, but um, this is somebody who's got their eye on the money. For sure. I don't know who she is. Could be dealing with Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, but we got two motherly figures here. Um, I don't know if this is someone trying to steal from this Queen of Pentacles or if this is this Queen of Pentacles who is the one. See, she's holding. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's like somebody passed away and somebody's trying to be really sneaky with the assets, the, the uh, inheritance, the um, <sighs> something. I'm not really sure. This is... Um, can we deal with Pisces? We've got the High Priestess card for the Eight of Swords. You know, so this is someone who's not using their intuition. Needs to use... This is someone who needs to use their intuition. Um, high Priestess is silent. It's all about... Um, secret Stuff going on behind the scenes. intuition though you know we were talking about documents yesterday too and this could be jail but maybe someone feels silenced here 
I don't know. But with the documents and stuff, yeah, this is definitely like a contract, a commitment, a marriage, something. With that lovers. Could be done with the Gemini. But. Waiting. Yeah, waiting on money to take action. Look, someone's waiting on this payout here to move. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and then we got the Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with the areas of your Sag, but someone waiting on something, money, in order to take action towards something. This new beginning, this Aries energy as well. Um, someone's waiting on money. Yeah, resisting, but somebody's resisting a new beginning, or someone doesn't even have the strength and the courage to take the leap of faith to start brand brand new, start over. Um, that's more, you know, that's Leo energy could definitely dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, especially with all these um, wands as well. Yeah, Empress Queen of Cups. So this is a motherly figure. This is like um, someone who's very spiritual. This is co-creator. This is someone who's very um, uh, nurturing, healing, um, very motherly, very... This is like a co-creator, a spirit, um, emotional, loving, compassionate individual here. So this could be have something to do with a mother, like I was saying. Oh, and then we got the emperor on the bottom here. So that's the match of the Empress. But he's over here next to the Ten of Wands. He's like some, maybe some sort of secrets might come to light that uh, causes an ending to this commitment, causes an instability, yeah. Yeah, there may be blocked communication and silence here. This is like blocked communication, like I was saying, someone being silenced. Um, and then this can be like no communication as well. But not moving forward. Someone's definitely mourning a death of something here. Possibly a mother figure. This is very spiritual energy with this high priestess, empress, and the queen of cups. Very spiritual. Even with the queen of wands, because she's very... Um, uh, magical if you will um with her black cat and her wand you know she's very um she, this is someone who can be uh definitely into the craft you know um so this is somebody who's very spiritual but there's you know indies bring new beginnings But someone's carrying a big burden, this masculine energy about something, maybe because he's the one being left. I don't know. Maybe there's a pregnancy. You know, because this, this is another woman here. How many women do we got on the board? We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Cups. We've got the Queen of Wands. We've got the High Priestess, the Empress. Oh my goodness. Um, and the lover. So that's like having a choice in love. Um, someone may have been sneaking around with some with an, another queen here, you know. And something's going on. And it's causing this emperor a heavy burden. Um, but it's like somebody's dropping this burden to become single. This empress, maybe. And that's why this emperor is so stressed out here with this ten of wands but it's definitely a loss um maybe um, this is a division of assets here because this would be like a contract maybe someone was buying a home and someone's waiting to get their money out of the situation because there's no growth there's no moving forward Weird energy. What else can you call us, Spirit? What other information can you call us today? 
what other information can we tell us today about the spread? Concerning the spread. What do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Thank you. Despair. Yeah. Thoughts. Someone's definitely all up in their head here. And then we've got just, I mean, it's despair for sure. So we have despair. So something's definitely coming to an end or someone um, has passed away and there's like a fight over, I want to say assets in the, 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 um, inheritance or whatnot. Yeah. Thoughts, family room adjudication. Hmm. What else can you tell us, Spirit? Oh, poverty. Yeah. We got official person on the bottom. This emperor can represent an, an official person. You know, see someone of power and authority. Yeah, look, watch your fucking money. Look, official person, marriage, message of concern. Look at the, we've got these eight of wands here twice. Like there's going to be some sort of message coming in. Look, great fortune, thief. Great fortune thief. I'm telling you, someone needs to watch their money. Someone's got their eye on the money. Waiting, looking, waiting, looking at the, oh my gosh. Someone, and then we got the empress in the um, outcome here with the queen of cups. And then look, behind there, thief, privileged lady. Ooh, someone's trying to take someone for everything, like in a divorce or something or something. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Someone needs to watch their money. And someone may be in some poor health, too. Someone needs to watch their health. You've got... So, like, like I said, somebody may have passed away. We've got main mail, coffin, and bad health. Death is just all over my freaking spreads lately, and I just don't like it. False person court, courthouse. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but somebody's getting taken for everything, I think, in a divorce. Someone's just waiting, waiting. Ah, yeah. Wow. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. There's so many messages. Whoa, someone needs to watch their money. Mm-hmm. Despair and poverty. If you're masculine, I don't know what you're going through, but this whoever feminine you're dealing with, You need to keep real mm, watcher. Someone's fixing to be sitting pretty. It just doesn't get any clearer. Great fortune thief, privileged lady. I mean, it's pretty much the same, the same fucking thing. Waiting on this payout from this home. Waiting on this payout from this home. Something. All right, guys. That's what I got. Great fortune, thief, privileged lady. Yeah. Change in occupation and concern. Hmm. All right, guys. That's what I got. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you um, have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. If you have not, please do. And leave a comment down below. Let me know how this resonated with your situation. And we'll talk tomorrow. Take care.